What's up? It is Brass Hoarder again, back at the bench with another video for you. In this video, we're going to be talking about Rebel Silencers Alliance 556. So, about a year and a half ago, maybe two years, when uh, Beto O'Rourke was doing his uh, Yes, we'll take your AR, we'll take your AK, hell yes. There was a company called Rebel Silencers that came out with a deal where you bought one of their suppressors and you got the second one free okay and there was a lot of people that took advantage of this deal apparently I was one of them and then unfortunately sorry not too terribly long after they uh, got their FFL yanked um, I you know I, I'm not privy to it but um, I think there was just some kind of paperwork error or something like that whatever doesn't matter because uh, effectively they were out of business so the reason that these were such a good deal was because they had um, very low cost and they had a warranty lifetime warranty so I figured if anything ever happened I would just send it back to the company and everything would be groovy so the reason that is a big deal is because these suppressors, silencers, are made of aluminum. Okay, so an aluminum can on a full power cartridge, probably not the best combination. So they did rate them for 5.56 five, and it was a uh, limited semi-auto, slow fire, things like that, right? But still, the pressures of the uh, cartridge is probably not a good idea for aluminum. So, now they do have, you can see it, let's see if we can get it in the light here, a pressed in steel baffle there. But the rest of it is aluminum. Okay? So... Once, once they, uh, you know, were basically out of business, the warranty became a a non-issue because how are you going to get warranty work when the business is gone? So, all right, I already have my can in. I already have both of them in uh, form four, and you know, there's nothing I can really do about it. So, I get the cans, and I've decided to dedicate them to 22 long rifle maybe up to 22 mag and I don't think 22 long rifle or 22 mag will do anything to these suppressors so that's kind of the route I'm going to go I'm not going to go 5.56 five, at all even though that was kind of my plan you know maybe put it on a bolt gun for you know 223 bolt gun but not at all so essentially this is uh, the suppressor all together let's see here you can see the joints where it threads in and this back end here comes out it's tight now but whatever um, the point is you could have taken this out and they had a muzzle device that you could have threaded the can directly onto instead of having to direct thread it onto your barrel so uh, being that 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 was that was a good option also but essentially what happens is these thread together And I, you know, you can make it this short if you want. Put the end cap on, and or you could go two. You know, a lot of people think now that you have two suppressors that you could actually take these two baffles and join them to this and have a longer can, more volume, etc. And I'm not a lawyer. And I don't play one on TV, but I think that would be illegal. So if you have this deal that you got, and you're thinking about doing it, don't fucking do it. Okay? I think that would be a problem. So, with that said, you know, if you were one of the people that got into this deal of the buy one, get one free, like me, um, you know, there's, 
you know, don't fret and worry about it. You know, just dedicate it to your 22, your rimfire. Hell, I'd probably even go 17 HMR, and I think you would be all right. But as far as going center fire rifle cartridges, I would shy away from that. So, anyway, here's another look. If you have any questions, feel free to post them below, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.